Okay, create a new project. I named mine uh, Orbo Everest. Uh, this is part three for the Blizz AVS tutorial. Okay, go bring up your manual. Um, section 5.1 covers sprite reference. This is how animations are generally handled for uh, Blizz AVS. We are going to use the fighter sprite set that's included with the RT uh, runtime package for. Uh, RMXP, so please export uh, 001-Fighter01 and you're going to rename it a couple times. You're going to make a couple copies of it and rename it. We're not going to we're not going to change the spread at all. Um, you can do that yourself if you want to, but we're not going to. So you're going to have one normal sprite with that's going to be 001-Fighter01 and then you're going to have one for uh, to be uh, the fighter and at the end of the name you're going to tag on uh, one for uh, attack 1 through attack 7 because there are 7 different types of attacks like spears and swords and shurikens. So you're going to have one uh, with an underscore ITM for item, one with an underscore uh, uh, SKL for skill and uh, one with an underscore uh, DEF for defense for like when you're using a shield. Okay, so now we're going to cover importing those sprites that you have just renamed. Go to the character folder, very important, and so you can see that top one. Um, I'll show you real quick. This is the sprite that we made copies of. We exported it, made copies of it, and renamed it. And I made, I put my copies right into the uh, root directory of the game. So I just named the uh, well I named the, the, the folder sprites import and so you can highlight all all of these sprites at once and import them all at the same time for setting transparencies. This will save you a ton of time rather than doing them uh, one at a time, of course. So just zoom out uh, using control on your scroll wheel, highlight them and hit open. Bam. It's going to ask us for every single one. Same sprite, but we just need to set transparency. So there you go. Seven attacks, defense, item, and skill. And so we will close this out. Next, we are going to cover the configuration utility. Right there, I was just showing you that they were definitely in the character folder. That's super important. So, uh, your configuration program needs to be in the same uh, root directory as your game exe. So, open up that config program. Any changes you make to the config program, you will want to save. Um, so, I would recommend changing your controls. Uh, you can pause it right now and look at how I have my control set up. You may want to switch jump and sneak to like or, or run, sneak, and jump. You know, maybe type comma, period, and uh, possibly uh, forward slash, but uh, you can make up your mind on that. I, I just thought it worked a little bit better with this setup here, so it's up to you. Uh, anytime you make changes, save them. They will be saved in uh, the same folder as the game, with the dot SBC will be the name. And I name my file config settings, so I remember what it's for. Uh, anytime you want to make changes to your game, uh, to the config file, make sure you open it first. Go to File, open that file, and then make your changes. Uh, if you fail to do that, you may end up making changes and you might save them, or you might make a bunch of changes and never realize that they weren't uh, uh, stacking up with the other changes you have made in the past. So be sure you open up that file before you make additional changes. So then you can go to Tools, you can generate configura configuration script, or you can hit Tab for Generate Configuration Script. Uh, then hit Copy to Clipboard. Go to Tools, go to your Script Editor, and on Blizz 1, um, that script it generated will replace all of this. So control A, Control V, Control E selects all, Control V paste, and hit apply. Changes have taken place. In the next video, I will cover setting up an enemy. So, 
Thanks for watching part three. If you haven't, please watch part one and part two of the Blizz AVS tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.